Alan. Thank you very much for joining me here today. You've brought your team along as well. Nice to see you. Yeah, nearly the whole team's here. You know, we've got um, obviously Stevie's on the show Saturday. Levi Kintiona, Harrison Hobson, you know, I've got my amateurs here, my amateurs as well this morning, Peter Fiori's team, I was there sparring Huey. Been a busy day, we made it just in time to hear Stevie swear, or I think it was a fourth word, it was a swear word, so, uh, no, but it's, it's, it's great uh, that we, we've got a team, it's great to have a team, it's great to have a big team, and we'll, 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 we'll work for each other, it's amazing. We'll start off with Stevie, yeah. it's a huge opportunity, came at a little bit of notice, but we've got to take these big opportunities, and it's a huge one for her, isn't it? Yeah, well, she, the, her opponent, she didn't have an opponent for a fight on the 5th, so on the 4th, she has to pull off the show. So I rang Eddie within 8 seconds of this news, and Ed was like, look, I'm on a flight to Vegas. So, kept going, pecking and pecking and pecking away, and eventually he said, alright, look, we'll see what we can do. 48 hours later, opponent sort of contract signed on the show, and she's on the way to Sheffield's What's Live on the Zone, it's, uh, it's amazing. We'll yep. talk about Levi as well. That's amazing. Yep. I spoke to him earlier. It's a case of in a tournament like that, there's yep. no real losers. It wasn't the performance it wanted. It came to life. Well, I th on the night, I thought Levi had won 2-1. Watch it back on TV. I thought Levi won 2-1. It was that close to fight. Um, but there was no real loser in it. You know, Matt Schumer and Sky both want to put the rematch on. So they're, they're, he's in a great place. Um, hopefully, he's on, he's on the box on the 27th of November. Two weeks tomorrow, he's going to fight. Get a win. And in the new year, you know, I, I'd love him to fight uh, Lee again, or, or any other, or any other lightweight or lightweight in the country. Because I think I think he's ready for more. You know, he wants to pick up the English title next year, and I, th I think we'll do that. You talk about the young man step aside. Yeah. What have you been doing with him in the gym recently? Uh, I, I'm his manager. I don't train him. I'm his manager. But um, I watched him in the gym, and I watched him spar, and then I went away, did a bit of homework on him, and everyone was thinking the same as me that he's a possible future. I think he's possibly, in five or six years' time, he'll be headlining near the Sheffield Arena. You know, a kid got that, who's gone, moved on, his, his, his time's in the ring's over. I think he'll be the one that is headlining the arena. That's how good I think he can be. So, I've got a lot of belief in him. And, you know, me and, me and the team, we're all backing him all the way to do that. And I, and I think he, he has the ability to do it. He's just, he just needed this push and this little help to, in order to make it a possibility to do. When you hear plays like that, yeah, like, this is everything I've worked hard for, really. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I didn't think it'd come now, but it comes now, so I couldn't be more chosen. When you come to a, a match room press like you had today, you see yeah. the ladies out there, Terry Murphy, you've got a hand, Stevie getting an opportunity as well, that's where you want to be. Yeah, 100%. Like, it's all sort of sinking in now. It wasn't like really sinking in before, but right now it's definitely like being here, sort of sinking in, like this is where I want to be. So this is what I've got to work for. But I know it just takes 100%. No putting corners, no going out, no doing it, just gym, gym, gym. Then we can worry about what we do after. So, yeah. You're quite good at this talent spot, aren't you? You've got a few under there now. Yeah, I manage five fighters, and I've been a manager for four months, and I've had one on Sky, one on the zone. And I think we've got the possible place in Sheffield Boxing for the next 10 years. So, um, yeah, and I've got two, I've got two other pros as well, um, or, or, or debutants as well. But, um, I'm enjoying it, mate. I like doing it. I love, I love boxing. I'm still fighting myself. I love training the amateurs. I've got four amateurs that are all doing well. We're undefeated this season, yes. Um, and and yeah, I, I, I love boxing, mate. I love it. And I'm involved in boxing as a manager, not for financial gain, just to give kids like him a chance. Because I was saying to him earlier, I remember when I was 18, I didn't have a penny either. But I'm doing all right now, and that's out of boxing. You know, it's out. Of, it's out of living good. I've never been in trouble in my life. Just, gra just drafted physically, and then when I got a bit lazy, I started to use that. Well, I got there, you know, and I want to give him and you a chance to do the same. And just for yourself, maybe, what are you out next? Uh, December 17th, uh, I've got a fight at Ponce Forge. With a win there, the Babbage fight becomes a possibility, but all sorts of possibility. Everything becomes a possibility. The sky, there's the zone, there's lots of platforms around, so. Um, Win December 17th, and then we'll sit down and we'll, we'll, we'll have a plan from that. How close do you think that could possibly be now that match? The Babbage fight could, could be uh, March, April time. I'll be, I, I, um, I've I been sparring with you this morning, I've been training well, and um, if I box on the Babbage, I'll beat him. I ain't, I ain't turning up to lose. I've seen Eddie, I've seen comments like, oh, what's Dave Allen fighting for? I'm fighting to win, always. 
I'm always fighting to win. You know, I haven't always won, but I'm, I always go in there with the intention Hi. of winning. You've got to think, if you were to beat someone like Alan Babbitt, who's steamrolled the opposition yeah. so far, I mean, that's going to open up plenty of doors and opportunities for yourself. Of course, yeah, I'm back to where I was probably in 2019 after the round fight, so yeah. it'd be nice, but the Babbitt's fight is a possibility. It isn't something I'm, it isn't, I'm not fixated on it. There's lots of options, so we'll see. Two more things I want to quickly get your opinion on. Firstly, AJ in the search for a trainer. I mean, what are your thoughts on, on his um, trips across the US and looking for a trainer? I know Anthony, like, from being young. Before the Olympics, I was a sparring partner. Does he need a new coach? I don't think so. I think he needs, I think he needs more self-belief. I think he's looking, I think the three men in the corner, two of them were there just to pat him on the back, in my opinion. Anthony Joshua is an exceptional athlete. He's been world champion. He needs someone. He needs someone to put confidence in. You ain't gonna make him a better boxer at 32. You're not gonna make him any stronger, any faster. You're not gonna make Usyk any less good. Whoever goes yet, he needs to find that belief in himself. And if he finds that, he has a chance to win. If not, I believe he gets stopped in the rematch. What do you think he needs to do better in the rematch? And do you think he, he needs more confidence? It's confidence. I, I think it's confidence. He, he's lacking confidence. Just for your time, both of you. Anytime.